As you might imagine, throughout the years there have been many controversies on the naming of elements. One of the most popular, a controversy dating back to the 1960s called the Transfermium Wars. This overdramatic or perhaps dry humor name for a controversy was named because they involved some elements post-fermium. <laughs> the war started between Russia and America in the 1960s, and later Germany was dragged into the controversy after synthesizing some elements of their own, including yesterday's element mitnarium, and today's element, element 107, borium, or as the Germans wished to call it, Niels borium, after none other than Danish physicist Niels Bohr. But the naming of this element was complicated. See, the Russians wanted to name an element Niels borium as well, but they proposed element 105 but the Americans wanted to name element 105 Hanium after German chemist Otto Hahn, remember from yesterday. Then in 1994, the Naming Commission for Elements proposed its own name for element 105 and proposed the name Hanium for element 108 instead. But the Germans wanted 108 to be named Hasium after Haas, Germany. Whew. All right, stick with me. In the end, the commission ruled that Germany had the right to name the elements they discovered. So element 107 was named Borium after Boromir. Just kidding. It was named after Niels Bohr. They shortened it from Niels Borium. And element 108 was named Hasium. Element 105 ended up Dubnium for Dubna, Russia. And nothing after Otto Hahn. But the story gets even more juicy in regards to naming Borium, element 107, because in my research, I actually found that the Germans were potentially not the first to create element 107 in 1981 after all, but the Russians, led by the namesake of element 118, Yuri Oganesin, very likely synthesized the element five years earlier in 1976. But as far as I know, they never submitted a name for it anyway. And we already know they liked the name since they proposed it for element 105. And element 105 ended up being named after a Russian town, so it all worked out. As always, thank you for watching Element a Day in May. That's day three. Stay tuned for more historical gossip and don't forget to subscribe for science.